and welcome once again to Coming Distractions, Columbus Alive's weekly entertainment roundup in video form. In video form. Uh, today, in uh, we we're going we're gonna to talk about movies for a little bit and then jump straight into a long list of new albums that are out this week. Uh, but first, John, why don't you talk a little bit about... My nerdiness? Yeah. <laughs> My general nerdiness. I saw the uh, new Harry Potter, and it's great, of course. Um, for people who love the books, um, I didn't read them, but I've talked to couple of people who have and uh, it's pretty faithful like the first four um, and it's got a killer wizard battle at the end a um, little bit more exposition uh, than some of the other ones and it kind of gets a little tedious in the middle but definitely a must see I'm also going to see uh, you kill me with Tay Leone and uh, Ben Kingsley tonight about a uh, alcoholic hitman who finds a uh, tart mouthed young starlet I guess is how it's billed so look for reviews of both of those in uh, Thursday's paper sounds racy yeah. Uh, now to our, our forte music start, and we're going to blaze through as many of these as we can. Okay. Uh, today, we're recording this on Tuesday, July 10th. There's a lot of new albums coming out today. Yep. Um, biggest one, well, one of the biggest ones is Smashing Pumpkins, which is kind of funny because mm. it's not really Smashing Pumpkins. I mean... Yeah, it's uh, Billy Corgan and, and drummer uh, Jimmy Chamberlain. But the thing is, Jimmy Chamberlain played in Zwan, and he also yeah. played on Billy Corgan's <laughs> solo album, so it might as well just be called the new yeah. Billy Corgan solo album. Um, and the thing that I basically think about this album, Zeitgeist, is besides the ridiculous album cover, it just, it only captures uh, the loud, you know, totally. it's like one dimension of the pumpkins. Um, you, you keep, we keep waiting for chimes or strings and like one of those really heartfelt ballads like 1979 or Disarm. And there's just really, it's kind of this uniform wall of sound and so many yeah. guitar overdubs, it's just a little overkill. Yeah, the, the guy on Pitchfork called it the zero dimension of Smashing Pumpkins and it's the, uh, only, the only dimension that, you know, we find in this album. Pretty accurate. So. Yeah, what else? Uh, T.I., new T.I. album out. Uh, people were so uh, up in arms about how good uh, King was, and I wasn't as blown away by King. Um, I like I this was. one a lot. Uh, this one's called T.I. versus T.I.P., which is kind of like kind of like a saga about his alter egos, and that really doesn't come through, but the beats are solid. He's got you know good guest stars. He's still got those really strong synths that made uh, the, the good singles from King so great. Um, what do you think of it? I like it, um, but I, I haven't given it enough time really to, to really say how I feel about it. Um, I can tell you that I really like the new Spoon album, which is hilariously titled Ga 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 Ga. Um, it's ba they're basically at a point now where they've kind of settled into a, a, you know, a, a standardized sound. This is the Spoon sound, but it covers so much ground within that. Um, you know, you kind of know what you're getting when you get a Spoon album at this point, but um, they're at the point where they've kind of like developed this whole personality where um, even though it's fairly consistent sounding, you can cover a lot of ranges of emotions and textures, and it's just really good, solid indie rock music. Anybody who has liked or still loves punk, get the new Bad Religion album. It's out Tuesday. Uh, it's so good. Uh, new Maps of Hell. Um, Basically, you know, there's always a lot at stake um, with the actual title of a Bad Religion album. And, you know, in the late 90s and, and the, in the Zero Zeros, um, they put out a lot of kind of like populist leanings, leaning albums, you know, like The Gray Race and The Process of Belief. And those were kind of like distant and detached albums where they thought they could kind of like convince people to resist by like arguing with them. And this one is a return to suffer era of bad religion, which is a lot of people's favorite era of bad religion. Um, basically just straightforward, really loud, really aggressive guitars on top of all the, you know, really strong senses of melody that uh, Graffin and Gurwitz really have put together on all of their albums. So you can stream the first eight songs on their MySpace, myspace.com slash bad religion. And, uh, you're going to need a copy of this, a hard copy to hold and cherish and keep with you at night. Okay, speaking of loud guitars, um, this whole, uh, there's this French duo called Justice that's supposed to be the new Daft Punk, the thing that's making, uh, you know, all the indie kids dance this year is... Uh, <laughs> what a fickle the animal that group is, then. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> in any case, uh, their, their whole big thing is that they're producing dance music like arena rock and um it is pretty enjoyable I, i've given it a b plus in the paper this week um which is more oh, I, I guess i don't have that much to say about justice um if you're a dance Other than fan their thing their actual <laughs> signal is a cross right the, the album title is just a cross um and the first song is called genesis and the second song is called let there be light and uh, there's a, there's this whole like biblical thing going on but i i don't really 
you know, pick it up in the music, which is basically just about <laughs> getting drunk and partying um, uh, and dancing. Definitely dancing, too. Um, well, the, there's no commandments against those things, so maybe those <laughs> things aren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> Um, well, I don't know. Let's move on from this. Let's talk one more thing. we got to wrap it up. But I do want to say, um, also, there's a new Interpol album. They're coming to town next week, so maybe we'll talk about that then. Yeah. Um, but hopefully until then... down an interview with them. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, I've got more reviews on my blog, uh, The Riot Act, at ColumbusAlive.com. And uh, reviews up also at Sensory Overload. We'll see you next week.